And the project was really inspired by rethinking the environmental impacts of maintenance and typical lawn mowing practices in and around Houston. But what we're doing basically is replacing around 10,000 square feet of typical turf grass, which is, you know, Bermuda and St. Augustine grasses with prairie garden. So it's quite simple, it's just sort of five species, mostly flowering species. Typical prairies are like 70% grass and 30% forbs and flowers, but this one's sort of the reverse, where it's like mostly wildflowers and just a few grasses. What this is doing is helping to improve um, soil conditions and improve water, groundwater infiltration, as well as lower the maintenance of the area so you don't have to mow it quite so frequently. Um, and it's also increasing biodiversity on campus, so bringing in habitat for insects and animals and birds um, to some, sort of exist in this space. We're not like against grass, we understand the benefits of grass, you know, picnics, sport games, lawns, but in so many places, grass is just like in the corners, it's just like what is put down and it's never actually ever utilized for its purposes, which is like recreation, right? So in those areas, can we think of some alternatives in the margins, right? And so that's what this project is kind of demonstrating. We do keep grass within the prairie plots and it's designed specifically based on the width of the lawnmower, but it's just showing sort of demonstration gardens. Not a full prairie, but sort of something that's easier for say, Texas turf lovers to uh, appreciate and experience its beauty. I think that the prim, green, well-trimmed American lawn is definitely cultural. I think that what we're trying to do here is shift that culture, especially in a place like Houston where flooding is such an issue and where we're, in general we're trying to become a little bit more sensitive towards, towards the environment and think about more sustainable ways of managing our landscapes. We're trying to shift that culture from the kind of St. Augustine and Bermuda water intensive, fertilizer intensive, uh, species to things that have always existed here and thrive really well in these conditions.